Chez Downtown Bumble and Bumble, je vous emmène maintenant découvrir un autre coiffeur, Uptown, devant la boutique du Mac Store, avec à côté F.A.O. Schwartz, dont nous avons eu l'occasion de parler, Central Park et maintenant le légendaire hôtel, le Plaza, qui vient d'être rénové entièrement et la moitié du Plaza est dorénavant accessible à l'achat puisque vous pouvez venir habiter dans le Plaza. choisi le, le plaza pour faire le nouveau salon de Warren Tree Comics. Well, well, one of the reasons it's an iconic building and it's the it's the number one uh, location probably in in New York to have a salon in. Oh yes. Uh, there are many uh, iconic buildings in America. You have you know, the plaza here and the Statue of Liberty and uh, and uh, the Empire State Building and in California you have the Hollywood sign and yeah. breast implants. <laughs> so, so we decided to stay here. My honey baby, he's my man, got me fell in love. No how to treat me like one man, we got real love. So if you look at this wall here, it, this wall is late 1900s because of the way the sconces are and so on and so on. We call this the plaza wall. Oh. Ah, okay. So like if you took a wall that was left over from the old, and kept it and then built around that. It's one of the things that we did. I love that you didn't cover the ceilings Ceiling. and you keep it open and put it right. in black. I wanted to bring that studio feeling into the salon and That's... not to have it so done like if it was your mother's salon, oui. but more young, uh, hip, mais moi, tu as complètement raison. On se croirait dans un studio avec tous les énormes spots. It's like a studio, like studio. all the, the lights. Right. Uh... So that's the whole idea. So you feel like you're on a set. Yeah, completely. Completely. This room is uh, the color department. And we try to do something very unique here. Uh, first of all, the photographs that are on the walls. Alors ça, c'est des shot. photos que tu as yes. this is Debra, qui ont été prises. Deborah Turberville, very famous fashion photographer, very known in, in France as well. Uh, Deborah and I have been working together for 30 years, and uh, I did these photographs with her about eight months ago in the Plaza, in when they were building the construction of it. So. And we do with a little sense of humor. We have uh, the, the, the maids, you know, oui. watching over the very wealthy, and it's like that. This is pedicure, unusual sinks, glass. We did something like that. This room here is a uh, manicure, pedicure. This is VIP room. Ah, ça c'est pour toutes les stars qui veulent être euh, privées. Or you just want to have fun. <laughs> I started in the business as a, as a rocker, uh -huh. and uh, as a spare job, I started to do hair. Uh, because I used to do all the bands here, and then do everybody else's hair, so it started like that. And then, as I started to make uh, money doing this, I met a, I used to live with Janice Dickinson. And Janice and I, and Janice started to introduce me to people at Vogue magazine, and I met a woman named Polly Mellon, and Polly Mellon started to book me for Vogue. And my career took off. Right away. Right away, like a rocket ship. I started my career and met more and more people and a uh, great life in New York City. Then I lived in France for a while. When I was in France, uh, 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 
was uh, fantastic. I knew Carl Lagerfeld, uh, uh, Kenzo, uh, Patrick Demarchier, uh, Helmut Newton, Guy Baudin. I worked with all the big French photographers. So most of my career was with French photographers, people always, always there. And I had a house, an apartment, right across the street from Vogue, uh, French Vogue, on Santé Snoo for the Grenelle for, for many years. And back, forth, back, forth, then St. Bart's. St. Bart's, St. Bart's, I was the first team to photograph St. Bart's. Edouard, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire dans les prochains mois? Uh, I'm going to uh, first to the inauguration uh, for the president of the United States, uh, Obama. Uh, I've been invited uh, to the inauguration. I'm working with a creative coalition, which is a political organization from Hollywood. Okay. So we're going with a bunch of Hollywood stars like Susan Sarandon and, and, a, and a bunch will be there and uh, <clears throat> make their hair and makeup. And then we also get to go to 